This video is all about how to derive the general nth term formula for an arithmetic progression sequence. Now, for the arithmetic progression sequence, now let's assume that the first term is equal to what a. Now, the common difference. It has a common difference. So the common difference between the second term and the first term is D. Now, if we now move this first term to this other side, you now have the second term to be equal to the first term plus D. That means the second term is equal to what? A plus what? D. Now, the third the, 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 the common difference also, the third term minus the second term is equal to what? The common difference. Now, we have gotten the, the... We assumed the first term to be A, and the second term, we have gotten it in terms of A, which is A plus D, which is this, which is 2. Now, if we move this second term to this other side, you have the third term equal to the second term plus what? D. Now, the third term is equal to... Now, the second term, if you now say the second term is equal to A plus D, so substitute the second term is equal to A plus D into this equation 3. Then plus D. This is the second term. So if you add this together, you have A plus 2 d because d plus d is what 2d so this is the third term now you see if you check now let's continue now you know the common difference also the fourth term minus the third term will give you what the common difference now if you move this third term to this other side you have the fourth term equal to the third term plus d. Now, and the third term from, let's say this is equation 4. From equation 4, is equal to a plus 2d plus, now this is d. So, this will now be a plus 2d plus d will give you 3d. So, the, this is the fourth term. Let's say this is equation 5. Now, it now implies that if you look at the, the, the expression properly, you see now the first term is A, the second term is A plus D, the third term is A plus 2D, the fourth term is equal to A plus what? 3D. Now, if you look at this, from here, you have 0 times D, which is 0. Here is 1 times D. Here is 2 times d. Here is 3 times d. So now, if you look at it thoroughly, you see that the first term here is 0. The second term here is 1. See? That means this value here is more than this value by 1. Meaning that the difference between 4 and 3 is 1. Is it not? Now, that means the nth term will not be equal to A is constant for all of them. Plus, this value, if you check this value, is the same thing as saying 4 minus 1 D plus A. Now, here is the same thing, 3 minus 1 D plus A. See, here is 2 minus 1 will give you the same value. So the nth term will now be n minus 1 d. So that is how the formula is gotten. You see, when you check here now, if you check here, here is 4, here is 3. So the difference is 1. So that means if here is 4, here is 3. See, because if you say here is 4, if you put 4 here, it's 4 minus 1, which is 3. If here is 3, if you put 3 minus 1 is 2. 
here is 2 equal 2 minus 1 is what? Is 1, which is 1 here. If, you, if here is 1, if you put 1 minus 1 is 0, 0 times t is 0. So that is why the first term is always equal to what? A. So that is the end of this video. Thank you for watching till the end. Have a nice day.